Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Monday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, uh, S&P futures, E-mini, uh, daily chart, and there's a band of price we really have got to focus on today, and it's it's the old, it's that 2203 that had been resistance turned into support late last week, um, and you've got a new weekly pivot that comes in the day at 2275. The um, the bears tested those areas in the overnight, and the bulls were able to defend them. We're currently trading about 2206, but you know it doesn't really matter until we open uh, at 9:30. I do expect those areas to get tested in the light of day during the regular session. And the key to the day is what you know, um, what what's going to happen when we get back down there. So just a quick review. We had 2191 half, which was the old all-time high, that was converted early last week by the bulls, and then we made a we made matching lows, made a double bottom down there on the the uh, on the 22nd and 23rd. We broke above 2203 on Wednesday. I'm sorry, on 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 Thursday into Friday, and that area was able to hold up. We did a high of 221175 right right into the you know then that very slow. Um, you know, Friday session, uh, and we pulled back, you know, about 10 handles, a little bit more than that in the overnight tonight, um, and as we get out here in the hourly, here's your weekly pivot, 2275, there's 2203, okay, converted, held, and moving up, 2209 is resistance, they pushed it down to the S2 here, uh, and then back up over weekly pivot, up over 2203, retested 2203 here, and it held, held, and now we're trading a little bit higher. So off the open, I'm expecting a retest of this price band. And then, you know, the opportunity for the bears is, can they get below that band of price? Can they close below that band of price? If they can close below the weekly pivot, if they can close below round number 2200, it at least gets people thinking as we head into the rest of the week that we may be ripe for some kind of a retracement. I think it'll be pretty shallow. I think it'll be pretty short-lived because the dip buyers are so primed to grab anything um, that trades lower. But if you're going to get something on a multi-day basis, that's how it starts. The bears have been unable to trade below the opening print of the regular session for like three or four days running. I'm sorry, to close below it for three or four days running. If, if they can start to make those baby steps, then you could see, you know, potentially over the course of the week, a retest of the old all-time high down there at 2191 half. If we're going to do more of the same, then what you're going to get is you're going to get a pushback into the weekly pivot, or maybe just to push back into 2203. The dip buyers, once we get into the regular session, they will be all over it. They'll push above 2209, and they'll make a higher high. And then we'll be back to the same pattern, same price pattern, the same psychology pattern that we've seen for the past couple of weeks. Dip gets bought, we make new highs, bears head for the hills, and it's just this slow drip higher. So, with a new week, there's always an opportunity for the bears to start to reverse things. They did not do a good job of it in the overnight because they got down to the weekly pivot and they weren't able to hold it. And it's not like they went up to 2203 and created resistance there. They gave it back up. And what was worse was they turned 2203 back into support, at least for now. So um, we'll have to see where we are. It's about 25 minutes to the open. Everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us over at Twitter, at Princeton Trader. Come check out our website. Come check out the chat room. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.